Fantasy Castle Cards is a small series about how to make these type of cards using the iron. Now sometimes the cable on some of the irons is a bit heavy. This is quite a good way to keep it out of the way, even with the lighter cables, and then set it to low so that the blue-green colour melts slowly down the surface of the iron. Here we're going to use the straight edge of the iron. So I'm putting on wax and then just touching it down so you can see which part I'm actually using. And then just sort of slowly spreading it along the card and moving up and down as I go, like a sort of very pointy graph, sometimes pushing back the other way. Just divide it off and you can actually see the first end result. This is the basis. Cleaning with a piece of tissue. Just use a bit of clear wax to help wash the arm perfectly clean along with the tissue. So with a nice clean iron, let's load it up with white and make a sky. So first of all, white, and then put in your colours. Now I'm working with the sort of blues and purples because they're quite fantasy colours, easy fantasy colours. So pinky, bluey, purpley sort of sky is what I'm looking for. And remember, if it doesn't work out the first time, you can always go back. Remember to clean the iron. I've got a pad of tissue at the end there. You'll see me use that quite a lot through this video. And now I'm putting on some more colour, and this time I'm going to work into the hills. So I'm using the curved edge, just an absolutely simple and straightforward curved edge of the iron to create that um, basic landscape. And now that straight edge that I'm pointing out there, just to push up like you saw before, to make those lines that are going to represent our structures, our towers. Wiping the edge off to make it clean, putting on darker colour to add a bit more strength. So you can just touch that down and tap it down here and there. And it just increases the contrast and um, gives a lot more sort of body and um, definition, I suppose. And then do something at the bottom. I'm trying to make a path here. Now, it doesn't always work out, so well, sometimes I just go back over it again and have another go. That's the beauty of encaustic art. You can change things so you're not stuck with your first effort. Just making those strokes bigger as I come forward. And there we are. I've got my first full Iron Maid castle landscape. New card, new image. Now this time what I'm going to do is make a band of dark colour across the centre of the iron. And then some slightly lighter colour. I'm still going with the purpley stuff and then white on the top and the bottom, because I want to make a reflection, a castle reflection this time. Flip the iron over carefully, and really bed it down onto the card before you stroke along. Now stroke along until you feel that you've got a decent covering on there, and then put that edge of the iron down, keeping it parallel to the um, vertical edges of the card, and that way the castles feel like they're upright and work along making a series and then what I'm doing here is dividing the card in half so I'm cutting those vertical lines with a horizontal one and you can see already it looks a bit like um, a sort of a reflection into a still water but you can enhance that by dabbing on it with the edge of the iron again so more straight edge iron work and just dab on like this until you build up a sort of series of ripples and so on and now I'm carrying on putting in some darker colour, some more of that colour, a little bit of blue to sort of um, strengthen it a bit. And just generally work the image to, to make it stronger. A bit more straight edge work, this time just pushing it backwards and forwards as I sort of swivel the iron round. And you get these sort of um, structures like foliage could be in the foreground or something like this. And it all adds, it's still straight edge of the iron, uh, it all adds to the, the detail of the work. So there's a nice reflected castle with some foreground. Let's try a bit of black card then. And this time just working in a monochromatic way, which means just using one colour. And my colour is white because it'll contrast perfectly with the black. Smooth it along and I've left it for a moment or two, uh, which you don't see in the video, to let it cool down so that when the edge touches, again keeping it parallel to those vertical edges of the card, that the actual edge will create distinct marks. If it's still too warm, then it can be a bit blurry. So let it cool down a bit before you start on them. 
And now the same thing, tapping, now that I've done the horizontal line. I haven't done this particularly carefully if you look on the right side there, I'll come back to that. But what I'm doing now is just shuffling that straight edge and sort of wriggling it along. I'm trying to get rid of that bit that I've messed up. Can you see the line isn't parallel on the right side there? Anyway, here I am working away doing some of those um, marks in the foreground and in the end I had to go back and redo it so I'm just banging with the edge of the iron down on top of all of that again until I can get rid of that um, well confusion because I'm trying to create an illusion of horizontal water and having an angled line like I did on the right side there just doesn't work but the beauty of encaustic art is that you can go back over it and uh, I can sort of basically fix it now I'm going to use a scribing tool and the scraping tool allows you to use this a bit like scraper board. So where I've got white and I scratch it away, it comes back to black. So you get nice sharp lines and just um, get rid of the little specks. I'm just wiping them off on the, my disposable backing paper. But you could use a piece of tissue, actually probably be better. And I'm lining down the edges so that it, it gives more definition, more crispness to the image. A few little birds. I mean, we are doing little fantasy castle cards here. This is the final image on this um, one, but there will be more later on. And then just give it a polish, polishing with a piece of tissue, gently from side to side. You can see the reflection on it there. And here's my final fantasy castle card from the Straight Edge Iron series. <laughs> Well, that was the first four, but there are some others, so look out for them because they will be coming and I am going to show you how they're made. Fantasy Castle Cards, thanks for watching. Bye for now, I'm Michael Boston.